a Seminole County resident. Well, he is known as the junk man, pled guilty to violation of probation, but then apparently he took it back. In February, Alan Davis was ordered to clean up this mess in his front yard, but code enforcement officials say he never did. Channel 9's Jeff Love Coolidge was inside the courtroom all day today, and Jeff, this case never seems to end, and it's been a wild day in court. <laughs> It's one of the craziest trials I've ever have had the pleasure of covering, Martha, that's for sure. Now, Alan Davis uh, spent hours this morning and this afternoon cross-examining witnesses, but in the end, this ended up happening after he initially pled guilty. Take a listen. That's why I told you, sir, I'm not playing games. I... Okay, I'm going to withdraw my plea. What's the just happened to you? He withdrew his plea, and it appears that the judge was leaning towards jail time for Davis when, for violating his probation when he changed his mind. Now, the day started off with Davis representing himself. He had a hard time learning the court decorum when it came to cross-examining witnesses. This afternoon, Davis took the stand in his own defense and even tried to cross-examine himself on the stand, but suddenly he became flustered and then asked for a public defender. The public defender then talked to him, and he decided to change his plea to guilty and then as I said he changed his mind when the judge was about to hand down that sentence now as for when this hearing will happen again it's been continued but so far we don't know exactly when they'll be back here in court to hear uh, what Davis has to say but for now reporting live in Seminole County Jeff left Coolidge Channel 9 Eyewitness News